Well, mutual funds in India have had a splendid run over the last few years and when 2023 began, it was expected that this year would be no different. To a large extent, it was not. As of November end, MF inflows have come in at 49 lakh crore rupees with 40% going into equity funds. The difference this year, however, is the number of new fund offers that were launched in this year. Now, remember, NFOs are how fund houses typically cash in on new trends and opportunities. So, the fact that only 191 new fund offers were launched this year is telling. I say only 191 because this number is less than the 228 NFOs launched in 2022. 2023 has also seen relatively lesser money coming into mutual funds through NFOs. 53,000 crore rupees, which is 13% less than 62,000 crores raised through this route in 2022. Now, experts and industry watchers say that one of the biggest reasons for the significant decline in the number of new launches this year is the change in debt taxation. The Finance Act of 2023 removed the benefit of long-term capital gains tax for debt mutual funds. Essentially, it said that gains made from mutual fund schemes that have less than 35% allocation in equity would be taxed as short-term capital gains. So now at 30% instead of the earlier 10%. This would apply irrespective of the period for which the units were held. In effect, what it did was it turned investors away from such funds, specifically the target maturity funds. TMFs had seen a surge in popularity in the previous two years because they were open-ended funds and offered a fixed rate of return. Now, to give you a sense of their popularity, between January and March 2023, 31 new passive funds were launched and all of them were target maturity funds. However, once the new tax rule kicked in from the 1st of April, guess how many TMFs were launched? Only three after April till December 1st. Of course, new passive funds continue to be launched, but they were mostly in the equity space. Overall, in 2023, 50 new index schemes were launched and these together cloaked in flows of 2,500 crore rupees. In contrast, in 2022, 84 index funds were launched, most of them target maturity funds and inflows in these schemes came in at 11,235 crore rupees. To be fair, through the slowdown in debt, mutual funds has been the only big bump in the road for mutual funds in 2023. In all, thanks to the bull run in the equity markets, business has been good. There were 45 equity NFOs in all, raking over 30,000 crore rupees by November end. Sectoral and thematic funds saw the most buzz between January and the end of November. 25 new sectoral and thematic funds were launched, garnering around 13,000 crore rupees in their NFO period. The big draw, however, were funds focusing on infrastructure and public sector undertakings. Several themes like infrastructure, PSU theme and banking sector were played via business cycles funds and quant funds. This interest has been rewarded as well. Thematic funds have offered year-to-date average returns of 54% to investors and infrastructure funds have given average returns of 42% year-to-date. New fund offers also were launched in diversified categories like multi-asset funds and multi-cap funds that have also continued to attract investors in 2023. Now, six new multi-cap funds were launched garnering around 7,200 crore rupees. It also saw six multi-asset allocations funds, uh, NFOs, garnering over 6,500 crore rupees in 2023. While multi-cap funds offered year-to-date returns of 31%, multi-asset funds also offered close to 20% returns to investors. So overall, the mutual fund industry has had a good year and barring the jolt from the new taxation rules, has been riding high on the bull run and giving investors fatter wallets.